We have learned new information tonight from Pawtucket Police about a woman charged with filing a false police report stating she found a missing two year old off Route 95 early on Sunday morning. Tonight, police have more details about how they learned the entire report was fake. 12 News reporter Alexandra Leslie has been following the new developments. Now, Alex, we've also learned what led up to the first call to Central Falls Police. Yeah, Mike, so Pawtucket police tell me Daniela Peraza Lemus was at an after hours party at the home of the two year old's mother on Saturday night. They had arranged a sleepover between her children and the two year old at Lemus's apartment in Central Falls, where police say it turns out the boy was the entire time. Pawtucket police tell me when 22 year old Lemus got back to her home in the early hours of Sunday morning, that's when things took a turn. At some point, she didn't want to have the child with her anymore. And she panicked and she concocted this story that she found the child wandering on the side of the road in Pawtucket. The story was that Lemus was in an Uber and found the two year old child shoeless and, quote, laying on his back at the end of the off ramp on I 95 early Sunday. He went to the area where she said she found the child. He pulled video from uh, local businesses and saw that nothing that Miss Lemus said happened had actually happened. Police determined the child was in Central Falls the entirety of the early morning. What do you think happened? Why would she go to this extent? We have no idea. She, she says she panicked and she made up the story. We don't know why she did it. A police report states the child was found slightly dirty with a scratch on his eye and a small burn on his leg, but otherwise appeared to have good hygiene and be in good health. It wasn't malnourished in any way. There was no concern about the child's well-being at the uh, at the mom's house. A spokesperson for the Department of Children, Youth and Families told me an investigation found the parent of the child not to be at fault and the department had no caregiving concerns going forward, adding the child was reunited with his parents Sunday. Now, Lemus was released from Pawtucket's custody yesterday. I also spoke with detectives in Central Falls since the report originated there. They declined to give further comment for now, telling me the investigation is still open and active. Live in studio, Alexandra Leslie, 12 News.